Hi guys, welcome back to What The Health. Today I'm going to discuss something that's going to be very, very relevant for most of us in the upcoming weeks and the couple of months. And it's all about how to stay healthy over Christmas because as we know, it's the time of temptation. There's food and drink and parties everywhere and it's really, really hard to sort of stay on track if you have a very specific routine. Now I've narrowed it down to three things that I think make it easier to be healthy over Christmas. The first one is moderation and I know it's so straightforward but I think at this time of year it's very very easy to forget about moderation and what moderation means is that you can have a bit of what you fancy but it's just about knowing when to stop because it can be so tempting so you're sitting around with your family in a living room there are you know bowls of chocolate bowls of nuts you know they're usually sort of salted and maybe honey roasted or something like that so obviously not the kind of nuts that you want to eat in like a large quantity um you know there's crisps there's buffets there's snacks everywhere and it's tempting to just graze 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 without actually thinking am i hungry also at this time of year, there's a lot of alcohol around, it's very, very easy to overindulge in alcohol, and the more you overindulge in alcohol, the more dehydrated you get, and then the more dehydrated you feel, the more you think you're hungry, so you eat more, and it's a really, really vicious circle. So in terms of the moderation of things, um, have by all means your treats, the things that you love around Christmas time, but think mindfully about whether you're hungry and whether, how you can factor in the nice treats that you want to eat. So having like snack times where you rather than grazing all day thinking okay mid-afternoon snack what do i want and if it's if it's a treat food then just have a smaller amount um it, it's i know it's very very easy to say and i know everybody f sort of falls off the wagon a bit at christmas but i think as long as you're mindful about what you're doing you'll be on a better track and uh, the only thing to not moderate is water drink as much water as you normally would on a normal day just to sort of keep everything going so you don't feel as hungry as you think you do with all the temptation of the food around. So just think carefully about what you're eating, but equally don't forget to just relax a little bit about everything because it's not gonna be the end of the world if you indulge a little bit over Christmas. Number two is activity. Now, I there, I haven't said exercise specifically because I know that say if you, were going, if you go back home to your family home, there's lots of people around, fitting in a workout, unless you go outside for a run somewhere, which not everyone can do or not everyone actually enjoys doing, can be you know a little bit more difficult. It's not like you're gonna be able to go to the gym as frequently as you would if you work out from home. You might have not have the same space or equipment and it might just be a little bit more tricky but you can still be active so saying to your family come on let's go on a, a family walk around the town you live in or just you do some something that is even if you're going around you know on the the boxing day shopping sales like once you've been to the shops and you have all your bags just just do a little bit of a further walk it, it's it's all about just staying active rather than sitting in front of the tv for hours and hours and hours actually sort of get up and make sure you're walking around if you need to go out and do some christmas shopping rather than driving to um like an out of town retail park like walk into the town you live in or even if you are driving somewhere just make sure you do like more laps of the circuit of the shops or just just stay that little bit more active it really really makes a big difference and then the third thing which i think is really important when it comes to staying healthy over christmas is to take some me time because when you're with people all the time, it can, as, as much as you absolutely love the people that you're with, it can get a little bit, not stressful, but overwhelming at times. And sometimes you need to take that little step back and just think about your own well-being. Even if it's just one evening, you just have like a pamper night, you have a bath. It's really, really good for your mental sort of health and it really, really shows on the outside as well. So the more that you feel sort of relaxed and chilled the more that you might feel like going for a walk the more that you might feel like actually picking up an orange rather than a, a, a chocolate it all has a really big impact like there's the sort of mental well-being is not to be underestimated when it comes to the rest of a healthy lifestyle so just taking that bit of time out is always something i'd recommend as always i would love you to share your own tips in the comments below as well hope this has been helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you next week bye